Picking up the menu, Ayaka wanted to take some time away from everything. With all the information that Darlena had provided, it felt a little overwhelming and the menu helped. Ayaka glanced at the menu to check out what they had available. There are other items that aren't on the menu, Darlena explained to Ayaka after finished talking with others. If nothing looks appetizing, then let me know and we can make it for you. Even without being told, Ayaka felt like the menu had a lot of variety when most of the food was something she was familiar with. Seeing that they had hamburger steak, Ayaka pointed at the image. Could I get a hamburger steak? Tanaka and the others picked up the menu, deciding to go through and figure out what they want to eat. I'll have this hamburger and all the toppings, Kawa said with a smile. Mizuki showed the menu to the robot, saying, I want to eat the curry set, please. Handing the menu to Darlina, Tanaka said, I'll have the seafood ramen. Taking the menus from the others, Darlina just nodded his head and headed back to the kitchen. Sighing, Ayaka said, Can you believe all of that? I'm still wrapping my head around it. Kawa shook her head in disbelief at the information that was provided. The woman on the monitor was now putting on her gear after getting out of the hot spring. She didn't even bother drying herself off. What was even more surprising was how the woman didn't even care about exposing so much skin to the people watching her. A flood of donations was coming through with text praising how beautiful the woman was and if she'd consider marrying them. When she received such offers, the woman just giggled and shook her head. You guys are being so silly. I'm sure that all of you have far pretty women for a wife than someone plain like me. She made a cute frowning face. Donations came in, denying that they were married, but the woman acted as though she didn't believe their words. If she isn't that famous, I'm kind of afraid to look at the others, Kawa said in a quiet voice. I think you look better than her, Ayaka said to Kawa. Do you think you'll become a streamer? Sighing, Kawa shrugged her shoulders. I'm not sure. It sounds like a fun thing to try out. If you're interested, feel free to try. I don't think there's anything to lose. Tanaka also joined in on encouraging Kawa. Getting so much attention from the others, Kawa blushed. Ayaka looked at Kawa and then at the woman on the monitor. Though the girl on the monitor was attractive, she felt that Kawa had more potential. The only thing that was the limiting factor was how Kawa had lost so much weight due to what they had went through. But she was confident that after Kawa ate enough, then she'd have enough curves to attract adventurers to watch her content. A part of her could even imagine Kawa doing similar content inside of a hot spring with barely any clothing on. Ayaka noticed Mizuki's eyes on her, which made Ayaka blush and shake her head. Laying back on the couch, Kawa thought about what the others had said. Then she leaned forward. None of you would have an issue? Kawa looked at Mizuki, then to Tanaka, and finally to Ayaka. I mean, if you'd enjoy doing something like that, then I don't see a reason why you shouldn't try. Ayaka said to Kawa.